Hey guys, what's up? Today with the review of the new white iPod Touch 4th generation. This iPod is available in 8, 32, and 64 gigabyte option, retailing for $200 to $400, and it's still wrapped up in its nice clear case showcasing the iPod. Let's peel off this clear sticker and lift up the top. Inside you will find the iPod on a clear tray as well as three accessories the synchronization cable, a cheap pair of headphones, as well as the warranty, instruction manual, and Apple stickers. Let's peel off this sticker to reveal the iPod Touch as well as the cover. Let's take a tour of the new iPod Touch. On the front you will find a front facing camera as well as the beautiful retina display. Flipping it on the back you will see the volume rockers, on the top of that, you'll find a 0.7 megapixel camera and microphone and a sleep-wake button. On the bottom is your headphone jack, sync cable port, as well as the small speaker. The 2011 iPod Touch is the exact same as the 2010, the shape, weight, and form. You can see on the back we have the same camera and microphone. The only difference is the color. Now that we have the iPod Touch out of the box, we can go ahead and turn it on. You will see the new iOS 5 setup interface. The iPod will lead you through simple instructions to get your iPod set up without even having to connect it to the computer. And now your iPod is ready to be used. Let's go over the new features of iOS 5. Apple has added a new button to the lock screen. This allows you to take pictures and movies without actually having to unlock and open up the actual camera app. It also includes three new main apps, Newsstand, Reminders, and iMessages. Opening up iMessages, this is basically a free way to text your friends under Wi-Fi. This includes a very simple interface to take pictures directly from the iMessages app. While we're in the camera app, you can actually take pictures using the volume rockers now. Let's go ahead and jump into Newsstand. You can download interesting articles from the iTunes store and view them right on your iPod Touch. The final added to iOS 5 is Reminders, and it does simply that. It reminds you of things that you need to do. There's also a cool new notification center by sliding your finger down the screen. This will show you many notifications even from your apps. Double clicking the home button also brings up the multitasking feature previously seen in iOS 4. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.